St Kilda won the second semi-final by a solitary point over Collingwood and faced Essendon for the chance to create history. Overwhelmed by the occasion and the big match pressure, the Saints were no match for the Bombers, losing by six goals. A lack of experience, as I said. We hadn't been in a grand final since 1913. And, uh, who do I have to go to speak to? I had nobody to guide me through it and we made errors. I can remember some of the mistakes we made on that particular night. Players were going out to the airport, picking up their parents from interstate and staying at their place and then trying to get them to the ground. I think we lost focus in relation to what we had to achieve. It never happened again. We brought the people ashore from interstate, but uh, we put them into motels, their parents. We arranged for them to go to the ground and their tickets and all that so the players could yeah, just focus on the game itself. And well, in 65, Morrow came off the ground very early on that particular day, plus our lack of experience and how to think. And everything just fell into place, finishing on top of the ladder. We just thought it was a natural progression to go on and win the Premiership. 65 was the year that I thought we, we could have won it. And uh, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, we beat uh, Collingwood uh, in, the, in the second semi-final, went straight through to the grand final. So we were there. Uh, and then unfortunately in that match I, I got hurt in the first five minutes and I thought well there's my chance of a, uh, a premiership uh, gone and uh, at that stage uh, uh, the side was leading probably by three goals but then Essendon who'd come from fourth position played pretty good football and, and rolled us. One of the biggest matches of the 1966 the season was the clash between St Kilda and Collingwood at Victoria.